What up, y'all? I'm Marcus Machado. I'm a guitarist, artist, producer, and I'm one half of Mach 7 Music. And I'm Vicky Cassis, and I'm a music producer, and also one half of Mach 7 Music, and we're the creators of QS TV. Yes. Hope you guys enjoy all the bi-weekly shows. Uh, yeah, we're going to get into our favorite new piece of equipment, the doubler. How do I find using the doubler for Producers Corner? For me, it was amazing. Um, it was the first time um, using the microphone. I've never used it before. Uh, my sister told me about this, you know, this mic, and she said, no, it's crazy sound. So as I was experimenting with it, I loved it. And um, I used it more for beatboxing and coming up with a groove and, you know, added some guitar on top of it. And it was great. It was a lot of fun. For me, using the doubler was a dream come, come true. Um, this is just the easiest, fastest way to come up with ideas um, and to just lay it all out on whatever doll that you're using. So it's definitely, it's like a producer's dream to just come, to have something where you can come up with something super fast. So I found it great to use. What surprised me about using the doubler was the reflection of anything that you pick up it picks up automatically. So it's like every little mimic sound that you're doing, it picks it up like very, very fast. And that was amazing. And then also to getting into like the strings and different sounds that the doubler can offer, it really, you know, surprised me with how much crazy sounds and what you can do with the doubler. Same with me, like the fact that I can use any sound in my doll to, to mimic and to use in my projects is, it's, it's crazy. It surprised me that I can use a kick or use a, a violin sound or anything with my voice. Um, so that definitely surprised me. Um, my favorite piece of tech um, I discovered lately it has to be the double. You know, I have to really say that because uh, this is something that I never heard of before. Um, I've seen little videos here and there, but never really experiment with it or even, you know, not even really like check check it out. But um, you know, I would barely say that the doubler is like the new piece of equipment that I discovered. And also too, going through the sounds, going through so much stuff, that variety of stuff that it has and what it can offer for it's a producer's dream, like what a lot of us are saying, because you know, you can do anything with it, you know, it's hands-on, you know, whatever it comes to mind, you can actually get it out within seconds. So I, I would have to say that for myself. Yeah, the same with me. I'm a minimalist, so I only use like a little bit of gear. Um, but when I got that, the, the doubler, that, yeah, that's like my favorite piece that I'm using to create and to, to come up with ideas. So same for me. I feel for me, um, music tech, there's so much stuff to be discovered. There's a lot of new equipment that's coming out. Um, I'm figuring out that, you know, a lot of stuff you can do from home. You don't have to go to a studio. And, you know, you're, you're, the access of getting, you know, music equipment these days is very fast. So I feel like it's moving in the right direction and there's so much stuff that, you know, you can get. It's just really when it comes down to it is what you really want as a producer and as an artist. A lot of people have minimum stuff. A lot of artists want a lot of stuff, but I just feel that we have a variety of, um, different things that we can pick from, you know, in the music tech world these days. Yeah, the same with me, you know, technology is so advanced and it's continuing to, to advance and it's, the sky's the limit. You know, people come up with creative ideas every single day and, you know, new stuff is, is being created um, just in technology in general. And specifically for music, there's just so much more um, to come in the future. So. It's going in a good direction, I say, and it's making it easier for creatives to create um, and to be just more extra creative. Um, so yeah, technology for music is definitely going in the right direction. Mm -hmm. um, the plans for QS TV this year, oh man, we have a lot. Um, you know, QS TV was a show that started out during the pandemic and giving musicians the platform. Now things are getting a little bit better and things are opening up. We finally get to do QS TV in front of people. So we're going to start having weekly shows. We're going to have different events. Um, it's going to be crazy. And, you know, really looking forward to what, you know, we have in store for this year. Um, also, too, we just recently finished doing uh, our first 
QS TV presents the Cypher Jam sessions where we had all musicians from New York and all over and came down. So that's something that, you know, we're looking forward to do more. And also to just showcase the producers and creatives and from, from all over. From all over. From all so over. be on the lookout for that. You know, there will be a lot of cool live streaming stuff. We can't give away all the details. And yet. special guests. And special guests. So, you know, it's a lot of cool things, a lot of great stuff that's going to be happening for QS TV this year. So make sure you stay tune tuned, in. tune in, stay tuned. stay tuned, follow us, and um, thank you guys so much for having us and um, supporting. Shout out to both leaders. Shout out to both leaders. Thank you guys. Peace. Peace. Mm -hmm.